INEC chairman faces jail threat as Serap files contempt suits over failure to go after electoral offenders. <clears throat> now to the news in full, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project Serap has filed a contempt lawsuit against Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. This is due to his failure to investigate the allegations of electoral offences committed during the 2023 general elections, identify suspected perpetrators and their sponsors, and ensure their effective prosecution. How is he going to investigate? Is he not part of the people that, that did drinking? So is it possible for him to investigate himself? Because he was the one that allowed for rigging. So there's there's no way he's going to investigate himself. That one is dead on arrival. Seraph's lawsuit is based on a July 18, 2024 court judgment ordering INEC to pursue bribery cases against state governors and deputies and other electoral offenses. In the ruling, Justice Obiora Atuego, Eguatu of the Federal High Court Abuja ordered INEC to pursue cases of bribery against state governors and their deputies and other electoral offenses committed during the 2023 general elections. Justice Eguatu also ordered INEC to seek the appointment of independent counsel to investigate allegations of electoral offenses including bribery, vote buying, conspiracy and undue influence against state governors and their deputies during the 2023 general elections. However, INEC and Professor Yakubu have failed and all refused to implement the judgment. Serap lamented in a statement dated October 27, 2024 and signed by Serap Deputy Director Kola Wale Oluwadari. The Federal High Court Abuja in the notice of consequences of disobedience to order of court warned Yakubu that he will be guilty of contempt of court and liable to be committed to prison if he fails to obey the judgment orders. The notice addressed to Professor Yakubu reads in part, Take notice that unless you obey the orders contained in the judgment of the 18th July 2024, made by Justice Eguato of the Federal High Court Abuja, a copy of which is yet to attach to will be guilty of contempt of court and will be liable to be committed to prison. I beg that she will put him there, she will arrest him already. The statement reads, it is unacceptable to take the court, which is the guardian of justice in this country, for a ride. A democratic state based on the rule of law cannot exist or function if INEC and its chair routinely ignore and or fail to abide by court orders. This is because you have allowed yourself to become rubbish in front of everybody. So nobody wants to obey the law again. Nobody wants to obey court order again because it is like a one man, one man's court. You people obey just one person. Everybody knows that once you are bribed, once you collect something, you will not be able to speak the truth again. That is why everybody is ignoring you. That is why. That's why the service of the certified true copy of the judgment on INEC and Professor Yakubo, they have failed and not refused to obey it. The recurring cases of electoral bribery and violence make a mockery of Nigeria electoral process and participatory democracy. Also, it also makes mockery of people as well. The judiciary, you people lot to are also collecting bribe. So it is a shame to you people as well. The latest allegations of electoral offences in Edo State shows that INEC has learned little or nothing from the well documented problems during the 2023 general election. Ahead of the forthcoming governorship election in Ondo State, INEC must turn the page on persistent electoral offences, end the impunity of perpetrators, and ensure citizens' rights to vote and political participation. Justice Eguatu granted the following orders of mandamus against INEC, the judgment debtor, and order of mandamus is hereby made directing and compelling INEC to seek the appointment of independent counsel to investigate allegations of electoral offences, including bribery, vote buying, conspiracy, and undue influence against state governors and their deputies during the 2023 election. Maybe they should put another body to investigate INEC and investigate the 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 our guy himself because he was a party to the rigging of election in 2023. So how would you tell him to investigate when he's also a party to rigging? He cannot investigate. He cannot. 
another of Mandamus is hereby made, directing and compelling INEC to promptly, thoroughly, and effectively investigate reports of electoral violence and other electoral offenses committed during the 2023 general election, identify suspected perpetrators and their sponsors, and ensure their effective prosecution. Another of Mandamus is hereby made, directing and compelling INEC to swiftly prosecute all arrested electoral offenders in the just concluded 2023 general election. In the custody of Nigerian Police Force, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Independent Corporates and Other Related Offenses Commission and other law enforcement agencies. Set up on July 2024, requested Professor Yakubo to use his good office, good office, Okay, and leadership position to immediately enforce the judgment ordering INEC to pursue cases of electoral offenses, including bribery against state governors and their deputies during the chaotic 2023 general elections. Sarah brought the contest lawsuits against INEC and Professor Yakubu pursuant to Section 72 of the Sheriff and Civil Processes Act. Sarah brought the contempt lawsuit against INEC and Professor Yakubu Poshua to Section 72 of the Sheriff and Civil Process Act and Order IX, Rule 13 of the Judgment Enforcement Rule of Court. No date has been fixed for the hearing of the contempt suit. Mm. John Matea said, Is it not the INEC chairman himself that is violating the rules? Abio, because I don't know why you're telling him that rigged election in 2023 to also investigate. What is he going to investigate? Nothing. Because there is nothing to investigate. God Peter Ibe says, Sarah, don't waste your time. Our next chairman is an APC man. The judges are all APC men. So why bothering yourself? All electoral offenders are all APC members. So nothing will come out. Nigeria is finished though. Shame on our next chairman. Yes. Because he's part of them. So there is no way he's going to investigate anybody or arrest anybody. Except they want to arrest innocent people.